or so. We're going to take an old ring of hers and combine it with my ring, and she's going to have a new ring for her 40th anniversary. So now that I have all the stones out of this ring, I can figure out where they're going to go in this design. And I've kind of already put some of the sticky wax in some of the openings where I think stones should go. And I'm just lining them up kind of based on size. Um, there's one that's a little larger, so we'll just make that kind of the center of the ring. And that sticky wax is just kind of like a temporary glue. It helps you position stones and um, start to fill in some of those spaces. So what it, now that I know where all the stones are going to go, I am just filling in these spaces with some of this uh, relief wax. Um, Really, that's for creating raised designs on a flat surface, but it works pretty well for this too. It melts at a little bit lower of a temperature than the blue wax. Oh, morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Here's your ring. Okay. And the other ring we're not using because it's white, but old and old nice diamonds. Take it out. All right. Go upstairs and make it into a ring. Make it into a new ring. <laughs> Sounds good. Without it, 39.8 is 0.6 times 14 is the ratio of wax to uh, gold. And we have to add about 5 to, uh, to make that give it enough extras. This is the um, centrifugal force casting machine. It's spring wound. It's three turns. Set the stop. The crucible we're going to melt and mold it. Look at that. And I can see where you're going to be putting your 
mine is right in there. Okay, so size now is about six and a quarter. I do four, so go about six. Okay, we have the ring, and I've got to file and shape it where the sprue came in. <laughs> That's the right size. 